Okay, in this video, I will show how to annotate the pathology slice. To annotate the uh, pathology slice, we need to use uh, a software uh, called QPath. Now, let me open this software first. This is the application file. Double click this file to open the software. Now, we can see this is the interface for this software. After opening this software, we need to create our project first. Project, create project. Now we select the locations for the project. Assume we, I want to put the project here and I need to build a folder. I need to create a folder. Let's see annotations. Select this one. Okay, now we can see we have created a project called annotations. Then we can annotate the pathology slides. For example, uh, I want to annotate the, the first image, 1M01. I only need what I need to do is to drag this file to the main interface of this software. Click yes. Now we can see the pathology slides have been shown within this uh, main interface. We can uh, scroll the, the mouse to observe details of the tumor regions, like the cell nuclei. Now assume after examination we found that maybe uh, in this slide, you know, these regions are the tumor regions and uh, we want to manually label the boundaries for these tumor regions. To annotate these tumor regions, we need to use a tool called uh, Polygon tool, this one. Click this one, and then uh, we can click in the image, something like this. We can click the uh, boundaries of the tumor region. Or you can also drag the mouse to draw the boundaries, something like this. Drag or click. Finally, uh, you want to close up this annotation. Just uh, double click here. Now we can see we have uh, added the boundary for this tumor region, but maybe uh, some annotation uh, later you found it's not uh, very accurate. You can also move the boundary you just uh, created by moving this uh, square parts. Something like this. Okay, assume we think this annotation has been done. We want to annotate another tumor region in the image. For example, we want to annotate this region as the tumor. Also, click this polygon tool and click in the image. Or drag the boundaries, you know, to get the tumor region. Okay, now assume, <coughs> sorry, we have finished the annotations for this pathology slice, we want to export the result to another file. Um, to do this, we need to uh, click here, Automate, then uh, show the script editor. Okay, you know, to export the annotations to another file, we need to use, we need to uh, use the program script. Here, I have written the program script and put it uh, put it in, uh, in in this text file. Export annotations. Open this file and select all the contents, and then copy. Uh, we need to copy the contents. After copying the contents in this file, we uh, click here, edit, paste. We can see the 
script has been pasted to this window here. Now we need to uh, double check the language. You no, know, we should choose uh, uh, Groovy. You no. Know. After that, so we can just click Run here. If you um, your program is running successfully, you should be say down here. You know, if you see here, you should uh, have exported your annotations uh, to here to this folder. You know, this in this text file one m zero one, it contains the the parts you just annotated in the image, and later you know uh, we can. Um, process this text file and use these annotations for um, computerized analysis. OK, now assume we have finished uh, this first image. We want to annotate another image. Just uh, we uh, drag this second image. OK, drag the second, drag the second image to this main interface. Close the first image, yes, and add the second image, yes. Okay, this is the second image. And assume you know we consider this regions as the tumor region. We want to label the boundaries for these tumor regions. Also, we use this polygon to click in the image and drag the boundaries, something like this. Double click, and maybe this is also the tumor. I want to draw the boundaries for this region. Double click. Okay, now uh, assume we have done for the annotation of tumor regions for this slide. We want to uh, export the annotations to another file. Also, automate. Uh, script show script editor click uh, on title one the program is here now we just need to run this program again you could say you could see the second down here it means you have exported the annotations to another file basically uh, you can see the file here you know the second the 1m02 text file in this file, it includes annotations for the second image. Okay, because you know annotation is very um, um, boring and um, labor intensive. Maybe you know after annotating for one or two image, you have been very tired. You want to close all the programs. No. And tomorrow you want to continue annotation. Uh, to continue annotation, you also first need to uh, open the software QPath first. After opening this software, now this time you just need to open project. You don't need to create project. Because you know, yesterday you have created the project. You know, I put the project under this annotation file, and then uh, we should select this file to open the um, project. Now you know we have opened the project annotations, and we want to continue annotation uh, for the third image, one M zero three. Drag, drag it to the main interface of this software. Yes. Okay, in this image, maybe we found this is a tumor region. We want to label the boundary for these regions. Just drag the boundaries like this. Double click. OK, now we assume we have annotated all the tumor regions within this pathology slide. We want to export the result to another file. Also, you know, automate show script editor. Now we need to go back and copy the uh, script 
uh, in this uh, text file, export annotations, uh, annotations. Click, copy, edit, paste. The program has been pasted to this uh, editor, language Groovy. Then click run. After running the program, you could also see uh, down here. It means you have exported the annotations to this text file. Okay, uh, this is the basic process for annotation and also export annotations by using this software QPath.